And we're live. Well, I was like, been... it was so low on the totem pole of machinima when I was there that I never got any actual benefits. I remember getting all the fucking emails in like 2010, 2011, <laughs> where they're like, the where they're like, oh, we're gonna, you know, we're starting a new machinima thing where, you know, we're gonna let your channel like other videos in our network, and that'll, you know, internally promote our self-sustaining economy or whatever, like the email said. And it was like, oh, okay, that's kind of neat. So maybe I'll upload a video one day. And FPS Russia will have liked it, and Woody's Gamer Tag, and C Nanners will have liked it. Not a once, not a <laughs> once did I receive a like from someone's videos. But every three hours, I would see a little notification on my phone of "You have liked someone's fucking uh, Dead Space parody." No, I didn't. I didn't watch that. But I liked <laughs> huge swaths of the same videos, and they, God, I hated that so much because it was just a way to get all like the hundred thousand subscribers people in my area to basically give free promotion to the woody level people and no, well, at, was, at the time it was even it was higher up level. Like, shame yourself. So, so it was so what what they were promoting was things Kyle's that they videos. put money into that's not even true they promoted me twice um in the whole life of the thing hmm. um what they were promoting mostly was like that mortal Kombat series that they spent oh, like Jesus. millions of dollars on that halo, halo that Halo uh, like live action thing that they spent millions of dollars on, um, they so, so yeah the, the the things of mine that they pushed though were like I don't know you know they were fifteen thousand dollar like I'm trying to think of the exact one that that we pushed something really fucking cool it deserved being fucking pushed it was I cool. reached yeah, out I to them like twice anyway. it, two or three times but at least twice to try to get a video promoted. And, um, you know, the bulk of my videos were like videos I made that day and then uploaded commentary, etc. But the ones I wanted pushed, both of them, I think, were music videos. Like once I would hire Try Hard Ninja. I would write the lyrics, I would choose the song, and then Try Hard Ninja would sing it. And he would hire a band, like based on the budget that I gave him. And they would perform the music, so it was all, like, apparently that was the way to beat copyright. If you use their instrumental, you're screwed. But if you perform the whole song yourself, then, then you have a right to it. Which is why Shucks You is still on my channel. And, um, uh, and then I would reach out to Machinima and ask for the push. And it was always no. It was always like they needed weeks in advance of notice and like consternation and thinking and and uh, that, that's so, a lie, so that's right? A lie. Yeah, because because oh, yeah. you told me they would push. You'd just call them up, like you you pick no, up the red no, phone. No, that's not what I said. What I said that's was how I made it. It's my story. I'll tell it <laughs> no, like I want to. <laughs> I'm making up as I'm so damn well. No, Go ahead. What happened was that Aaron was at my house, the guy who owns Machinima, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm I, we're, we've got my computer there, and I'm like, look at look at what I just did. Ben Stiller called me on the on the phone the other day and wanted to find out who I was and thought I was funny. He put me in touch with his production company, and I worked with them to promote their movie and made this flamethrower video. Check it out. And he was like, that's a big deal. We should push this. And I was like, I think so, too. <laughs> I agree. Push it. And, like, we click refresh, and it goes, boom. <laughs> like, like, not that the video exploded or anything, because it wasn't even uploaded. Yeah, I guess it was uploaded at that point. Not that the video exploded, because it was already, like, doing super well. But, like, every, uh, every, every other channel, like, liked it instantly and favorited it. See, and in the Machinima like world, you and Sea Nanners and Captain Sparkles, like, have you ever seen, like, a resort in Jamaica? where it has that hard line of, like, corrugated tin roofs and then a wall <laughs> and then gigantic palatial estates where people are enjoying vacation. Mm -hmm. In the world of Machinima, it was always like, oh, there's... Oh, I can almost see Kyle on his balcony from here in my little shit shack I in my corner that. of Machinima. And I even wondered, I was like... I was wondering, like, does, is anybody from Machinima keeping tabs on me at all? Because they sent out an email and it was like, we are now requiring all partners to put the Machinima intro and Machinima outro on all our videos. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to see how long it takes them to come to me and say, hey, we noticed that you haven't been doing this. And Happened, it's been it. six years. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and I, I have not done it. And yeah. I was I one of the. Any, there you go. I was I one didn't of get the. Anything okay. Special. I don't. I don't feel like so. So we. Mm. I know we for sure pushed pushed that uh, pushed that flamethrower video and maybe one other, but I don't remember. But other than that, like, there was no like fun relationship with like Hutch had had like this relationship with Michelle because he worked there obviously where like everybody there seemed to love him and and it, and it all was hunky dory. I think Woody was on the opposite end of the spectrum of that where Let like they're throwing like. 
<laughs> no, like no. Dark. So there was a time when I was very much like it, one of Machinima's most important partners. So like like I met with you know Aaron Debois. We went out to lunch and stuff. And like a lot of the things I wanted contract wise started happening. When everyone got those raises and such, that was because me and a few other guys were getting offers from outside of Machinima, and they raised the contract. I um. You know, and they talked about having variable rates, but I we, we made the flat rate something because I was like, you know, I've got a family, you know, I've got like a mortgage, I've got this, I've got that. I really need predictability in my payment. I want to be looking at the views I made this month and then just run the math and know what my check will be this month. That means a lot to me. You know, the, what we had in the past, which was, like, I don't know how the freaking stuff was calculated and you didn't know what was mobile and this and that. And I was like, I need predictability and payment and they they like they wrote that down and then they gave it to me and i, I talked to him I, you know, about like i forget i think Anders made a video on how he was embarrassed to be in this community of money grabbing whores or something close to that and i was like i don't really like that i felt like it was pointed at me you know because some of the things he was mentioning like daily uploads uh you know like that's me and uh they're like, you know what? Actually, at this point, you get four times as many views as CNNers does. You're a lot more important to us than he is. And uh, I'm sure that situation's changed. But that's what they said <laughs> at lunch. And, um, you know, so I was, you know, I was one of their more viewed partners. Top five, top ten or something. They had a special program that gave, like, like everyone else, when they needed support from Machinima, went through these channels. And then they had one for, like, ten people. And I was one of that. Like, I had a special access line. But uh, okay, I see. I thought there was a time when they were like throwing at, darts at you or at something. At the staff level, like so, that's the ownership level, like giving me access to programs, giving me like the contracts, and I guess the stuff that really mattered. I walked the Machinima offices, and someone had literally sh photoshopped my face on like Benedict Arnold's body and hung it on their cube. Wow. Yeah, and I'm like, what the well, fuck is I, this? I feel like I feel that's like Woody HR like. Problem. Went, <laughs> Woody got a raise, and the people that uh, up there like lost their like party bonus or something like that. They couldn't have uh, birthday parties anymore. <laughs> right. or something. No more fucking Keurig hey, machine what, in the break room. <laughs> All right, they're wheeling it out. Everybody this got a raise. This is Woody's gamertag. You see our cappuccino machine walking out the door? <laughs> That's Woody's gamertag. So Dude. when his shit comes in here, you know what to do. And the whole room chants, throw it in the trash! <laughs> Everybody no, when, when was that breaking point with you with, with Machinima? See, with a lot of creators, myself included, even being with Maker, and as I'm about to freely walk up out of that contract deal, as it comes to a close next month, oh, Lord Jesus, you, you, <laughs> you, you know the time when a partner took care of you the best, but then came that breaking month where nothing happened every single week after that breaking month. Do you remember that time? It, it, for me, like, I never... I never needed a lot of care. Like, I, I just wanted a, a paycheck. That was all they did. They, like, in my mind, their job was to monetize my videos. And if they brought any branded integration deals or something to the plate, then yay. But uh, then, I guess Machina ran into financial trouble. And they redid nearly everybody's contract. And that was it. So they came to me and they wanted to give me some sort of giant pay cut. So I was like, mm. oh, well, I'll go to some place that wants to give me a pay raise instead. And, and that's how that went down. I think I am still on that perpetuity contract because oh, I, just, I just never it revisited forever. it and I don't upload enough to make it matter what one bit. I wow. I could write a book about what it took to get away from Mission. It was just this lo years <laughs> long battle where like they would send us a contract and we would be like, no, we will not sign that contract. Fix these things. And then they would send the same fucking contract back and we'd be like, ditto. Here it is. <laughs> and, that, and, and you think that like well how many times could that happen like twice right before someone like blows a gasket but no i didn't give a fuck i was like just keep doing it i'll stay on the same money but you're not going to pay me less you're not going to pay me more and you're going to let me out of this and that or i'm not going to sign a new contract and years went by and, and you know, <laughs> lawyers were involved and and there was finally like some big buyout and there was it, it was a real mess You've had a rougher time on YouTube than the overwhelming majority of people. Maybe just because of the content that you create, like guns, more people are willing to come after you and like hold you to a strict standard. Yeah, I, I just think I have bad luck. I stubbed my toe twice today. It, it was bleeding. It's, Same it's, time. It's, yeah, it's just bad it luck. Happens. 